Yeah, we back, y'all, with our special guest, my main man, George Wilbur. How you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been um, I've been wonderful. I, I moved here, you know, as you know, about four and a half years ago, so I'm still getting acclimated mm -hmm. to the South and to uh, specifically, you know, the A dirty South. You know? yeah. Exactly. A town. <laughs> yeah. and A -town. I, but, but I have so many friends here that, you know, and I've been coming here for years performing, you yeah. know, and as we have 30 plus years, I've been coming to Atlanta. I didn't, it wasn't on my list because I've been everywhere, man. I lived in New York and, and yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, you just and, there. Well, your, career, your career has been, you know, with that, I mean, you man, you're a radio host known all over the United States, man. Well, I did a lot. I've been syndicated four different times in, in radio, you know, and been on with Bazed and Michael Bazed and it's yeah. also Frank uh, Ski. Yeah, Frank Ski. Been on with uh, mm -hmm. Doug Banks. You know, yeah. I've done. But I, but, but comedy is is what got me all how, of those how opportunities. How does it feel just to repeatedly get uh, lose those jobs? Uh, it feels fine <laughs> to me. <laughs> It feels fine to me because they, they hired me again somewhere else. They somewhere. Hired somewhere. <laughs> right. George it been on the biggest it, show. It don't, it, don't, it don't matter how many times you get fired, it matters how many times you get hired. Right. 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 <laughs> I used in Chicago when they fired me off uh, uh, yeah, G, uh, GCI. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's his name fired me? I, I can't call his name. Uh, I could call it. It was uh, um, Airway Smith. Was Air Air <laughs> I was up for that job. Huh? I, I was up for that job. Yeah. So when it, when it was when after Steve Harvey left, yeah. Air Roy did the search, right? Yeah. yeah. So he, he, I did the job with um what's the, what's the co-host was at the time uh, anyway, but I lost the job to George um to somebody uh, who speaks English. <laughs> No. Shit. They, they were like, you can only do hold radio on, in Mississippi, on, nigga. If you, if you do hired, radio on the Mason Dixon line. Hold on, they hired RNJ and George Wallace. Yeah. yeah. They hired RNJ and George Wallace. I yeah. took the job and. Uh, well, you was good. I'm going to tell you what I got tired of. You was good on that. Let me tell you what I got tired of, man. They fired you because you was good on that. In the meetings after the show, they would tell me, DC, this is how Steve do it. And I said, hey, man, look at man. Y'all go get Steve back. Yeah. I ain't Steve. Yeah. This is how Steve says it. I say, hey, man, I'm DZ. I ain't Steve. I ain't got nothing. But you was killing it on that, so I have I no idea time. why they would try to work. First of all, you're going to be Don D.C. Curry. Daddy. The, until they put you in the ground, I would imagine. Daddy. So why they would expect you to be something else, and sometimes that's how radio goes. Yeah. You know, they want you to emulate something. Why would they want you to emulate somebody that they got rid of? Yeah, and I wasn't you know? mad at That's him. true. I that's don't true. know what the circumstances were on with regards to Steve leaving. I don't know if he voluntarily left or what. But uh, well, no one like, voluntarily hey, leaves. Hey, if you go <laughs> Steve back, go get Steve. Yeah. yeah. Right. But the people yeah. don't realize the radio business, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a business. You got an agent that, that shops you out to different radio stations. No, I didn't do none of that. You do I didn't do that. none of that. I ain't send no tapes. I didn't right. tell you something about nothing George. about no none they of come and get George. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm a yeah. hired gun, and if you want me, you come get me. But you know what you're gonna get when you come get me. You I've seen you yeah. be. I've oh, seen him. Right. I've seen him be be the savior for several shows. Yeah, mm. I'm talking about George. Yeah. George saved. I'm about show. to save. I'm about to save one again. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I be well, listening. I'm, about, I'm not about to save it. You have But saved I'm about it. to enhance it. Yeah, that's yeah. my man. Wow. That's yeah. my man. I'm about now. to enhance it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely about to enhance it. <laughs> yeah. If God will. Yeah. But you know, radio is different, and all comedians can't do it. And I think that's why I continue to work a lot because as as funny as guys are. When it comes to doing comedy on radio, it's a whole nother it's beast. Whole it's a whole nother beast. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why it's a good time too, boy. I'm gonna tell you why it's a good exercise, and unbeknownst to them, not Bo Hebert, but unbeknownst to the young cats be around me, mm -hmm. the reason I provide my opportunity. Let me tell you what radio does. On radio, the people cannot see you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you got to describe. What the hell you Absolutely. talking about? Absolutely, that's right. And you Stay got to the mind. you got to draw the picture in the people's mind. That's right. In a short period of time, you can't turn no flips. Period. You can't turn no None splits. Of that. You can't do no right. splits. They don't care how your, you your got outfit to, look. You got to verbally communicate what the hell you trying to say. Absolutely, and hit your point. And you what? You, 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 was, you. you was barely able to tell us the last story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you could you could barely get that shit out. Right, but yeah, what? But I did radio. Yeah. I know I do radio. Yeah. yeah. I'm out of bummer that.
Yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because when they come to you, you got to be able what to. What's the last word you said? Uh, Baba Day? <laughs> Baba Day. <laughs> See, y'all, you also have to enunciate. Oh, that's yeah. another thing that's important with radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got you to gotta clear, your, clear your throat. You got to take the razor blade out your mouth. I you think he need the razor blade. No, you, you got to handle yourself with the razor blade. You got to do all that. Kind of, you got to have most of your teeth. You got to eat certain stuff. Same stuff that they, I know what they like about me. I got. I can articulate. I got my teeth. Hey, George, I'm good. No. So you, say, so you say I lost my job because I can't articulate. I say you lost your. I say you lost your job. I say you lost your job because you lost your molars. Right. You, that's what, you, can, right. you can tickle anything you want to tickle. Uh, yeah, you can tickle it. <laughs> this is hey. the R part. <laughs> but you know, I ain't mad. Ain't. Oh no, yeah, I'm but, proud of you, man. Uh, hey, Let me man. tell you something, man. You can lick all the windows you want to lick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, no, you know, no, you're no, no. window lit. I love him. I, I like I liked how your uh, your uh, your homeboy, who's the son of Tim Waltz, jumped up at the Democratic convention and was happy about his daddy. That's his daddy, man. Yeah, that's yeah, his daddy. I, 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 I posted that too. Man, I, Gus. I, don't, I don't know if he's special or not. He's yes, just mute. Well, he's smart. Wouldn't. He you just wouldn't he know. just mute, but he's but smart now. He can he just can't relay it in he sound. Would. He's smart, he just can't relay it in sound. Okay. And then not only that, when he gets excited, he's, people he's with that smart. Yeah, yeah. switch switch chairs with with him. <laughs> uh, uh, but. The dude can drive. Like, what are you talking about? The dude can drive. Like, he's on Instagram doing hey. a lot of stuff. Hey, he, he may be, he may be fast. Oh my god. He may be strong. <laughs> but he ain't slow. He may be funny. But he ain't slow. But, but he, he ain't smart. <laughs> I'm just saying he's good enough to know how to drive a car. You know he's good enough to know how to drive. Oh, he drive a car. Oh, well that says it there. But what I'm saying is he's a genius. He's more than just an emotional yeah. mute. That's I know, all I'm but saying. Brian, you yeah. drive a car. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I <laughs> see y'all hating now. Y'all just started oh, shit now. I'm good. Me and DC, yeah, I'm good because I know I'm confident in my intelligence, but I'm just saying I've but seen it on Instagram. Let's DC, let's like, if you watch him on Instagram, DC, he's not back. like, he just can't speak. He's muted in sound, but he's yeah. not like a kid that's hey, got to take special yeah. classes. I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to make a confession. Uh oh. Okay. Confession time. And this is in all honesty. Yeah. When that boy stood up and did that for his daddy, <laughs> I started crying, man. Yeah. It was deep. Yeah. That started, didn't have nothing to do with I the honey, did it? Right. <laughs> it was deep. Because you could have you could have snatched one of them crying. staples. You could have that'll make you cry too. So I'm just yeah. make sure uh, I'm gonna make sure it was Gus and one of them staples not popping out your damn fart. I started crying, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was emotional though. So called a lot of y'all so called normal people get caught up and don't realize it. That window lickers have a sense of humor oh, too. Oh my God! <laughs> they have a go. sense of humor, man. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you something else. But I got a nephew. He's a window licker. Mm. But, but let me tell you something, man. DC. Most because window, window lickers. I used to play with him. I let the window down. He been licking the air. Let me tell you something. Most of them think something wrong with everybody else. <laughs> How about that? And I'm gonna tell you something else. You very seldom see a sad window licker. Why we have to call them window well, so lickers? So who really crazy? All right. I'm and I heard, and I don't know. I'm I heard something. they hung like mules. <laughs> sure. that, I'm serious. I'm serious. That's why some of them. That's why some of them get married. I'm serious. Because a woman don't care. A woman don't care. Because it, it, she she look past all the licking. You know. <laughs> She replaced that. She replaced that window. You know. <laughs> With I heard that, yeah, I, I heard they they, they hung like a mule and don't yeah. even know it. But they have a sense of humor. They have a sense of humor, man. Hey, hey, George. Um, yes. <laughs> when you when you're being here in Atlanta now, like what's probably one of your most favorite city in the South that you really enjoy? Hey, man, we talking about window liquor. Don't change no subject. <laughs> And Lord, hey, hey, Lord, he was Lord. Oh, I was trying to get somebody get him, get him yeah. something to lick. Yeah. Give him a glass. He ain't no preacher. He ain't no preacher. Yeah. And he's confident. Oh, and he's confident. He's intelligent. This ain't no. This ain't no preacher's convention. Yeah, yeah Richard say, give him some crazy. Yeah. I was trying yeah. to get him away from that man. I mean, I let think it go. George want a way out. No, no. I think he's comfortable right here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Put him in the corner with some crayons. This is nothing. This is nothing. Don't eat him. This is nothing hateful. It's nothing hateful or mm. nothing like that. 
You know, it just it just is what it is. I mean, is. I think yeah. you gotta go. It's actually you make it's harder to say window liquor than like retard or slow well, person. Which you, you can't say. You make it harder. You can't say the R word. Special needs. But, but window liquor is a it, that's equally derogatory yeah, as a retard. No, needs. no, window liquor is a uh, is is acceptable. But we still got to call me. You call me. If you call me. But but the R word. Now you're being disrespectful. Now you're being disrespectful. Now if a white person called me a window licking ass nigga. <laughs> or he called me a retarded nigga. And you be mad because he said window licking? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And you like, you're a window I'm, ass licking nigga? Right, right. Uh, window yeah. licking ass nigga? I'm be and mad window you called me a window licking. Come right. on now. I'm be mad you called me a window licking. Listen, man. So you rather be called a retard? I've always, re- re- yeah. always had a problem with retarded because yeah, me too. retarded means... You know, you're at a disadvantage. So I'm socially retarded. And I'm, window, window, I'm racially retarded. Emotion. I'm emotionally retarded. You can be economically, economically retarded. Yeah. Unless somebody specifies mentally retarded, yeah. then how can you just assume oh, I'm talking yeah. about you? So when you pull up in but that trash spot, <laughs> you pull up in that window window liquor liquor is more specific. Yeah, we put no, it's not. Just <laughs> and it clarifies what you're talking needs. about. But yeah. it's a lot of special But does that move you up on the respect scale a lot? <laughs> what did you say, Brian? You said, does that even move you up the respect scale of life when you say window liquor? I think so. Yeah. 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 All right, if I'm financially retarded, okay, that means I just like money. I can recover from that. You could be a I'm just gravel liquor. I cannot recover from, like, I'm licking windows. That dude's a window, liquor, window uh, liquor. Gravel liquor, that's just bad. Oh, that's, that's bad. really bad. When you're yeah. licking the pavement and the gravel, they're going to come get your ass. It's not that way to be a window licker. If you're licking liquor. the window, they're going to put you Where the get to go oh, places? Hey, hey, you they're going to put you somewhere. You where the liquors get to go places? They're going to have to pay. You get to go wherever they tell you to go. Which one you rather be, a window licker or uh, an ass licker? Oh, hey, that's oh, a trick question. I can't ask that. I don't think you can refer to anybody as what they lick. That is a trick question. You refer to me as what I lick. I got to think about that. Wait a minute, dog. Right. I gotta think about that. One. Don't watch everybody say, "Who's windows?" <laughs> Not who's ass, who's, uh, who's windows. <laughs> we'll be back. You listen to this race. 